Hey YouTube OGG coming at you with another update on my garden. Uh, what you got here is kind of an upset lady in front of you. It's the Gorilla Glue number four. Um, we'll get into more of that here in just a second. Um, but I did want to show you. I finally did take down. Uh, this is a giant jar. Yeah, it's about halfway full. I've been taking stuff out of this one. Um, but I got about like three more of these of the sour diesel. Um, here's a nug of it. Right here. Let's see. If we can get focus in here. Let's try this. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Now let's try that. Come on, focus. Let's try it this way. I gotta sit this damn jar down. There we go. But anyway, yeah, this is the sour diesel. See, she's pretty. Red hair is all over, frosty. Not the most awesome trim job in the world, but like I said, this is my medicine. I'm gonna be smoking it, so. So, sour diesel. Just leave that in focus like that and see if we can't. Golly, and then the smell on it, super gassy. It's like as soon as you open the jar. And then, Cinderella 99. And she had some massive buds on her. Just like, let's see. Here's one right here. Like, yeah, that's a hog. And I mean, she is just full of them. You can see how that's my dirty ass finger from cleaning out my bowl here a second ago. Yeah, super citrusy, like quite the opposite. Like she is citrusy and skunky. But yeah, pretty. It's like beautiful, beautiful. But we got some sour diesel in the grinder right now. That's what's in the, uh, the new pipe I want to show everybody. Let's get that put up. And then we got the Grav Labs Sherlock Holmes edition. There we go. Yeah, Grav Labs Sherlock Holmes edition. This thing, I, like as soon as I saw it, like I fell in love with it, I had to have it. But anyway, let's smoke and let's talk about what's uh, going on with this unhappy lady here. So I don't know if y'all remember a few videos back before I had taken down when this lady was basically still over in a little three by three tent. Um, sorry about that, my charger fell. But yeah, when this lady was still over in the three by three tent, like she was getting advanced nutrients. The cocoa city perfect, the pH perfect. Uh, a and b from advanced and i was thinking about i i said in a video i was thinking about switching nutrients wasn't really sure what i was going to switch up to i know i'd mentioned jacks was one of them um i think i also mentioned you know like the true organic route i didn't have a specific brand in mind um, i was looking at one brand gaia green or whatever um, i was looking at them so it was just like a bunch of stuff that i was looking at so i decided i was like hey it, let, let's approach this you know when you go online um there's i mean you can be led down so many different rabbit holes and this and that and you know so personally the approach that i took was I said i'm gonna visit I, I like to support my local grow shops local hydroponic stores so i went and visited a few of the ones that i i trust that i've gone to a few times 
and I just saw what they had available. Saw what they had on the shelves. Kind of wrote down some names, come back, did some research. Along with the stuff that I was looking at online, like the Jacks would have been something that I was gonna have to purchase exclusively online somewhere, Amazon, something like that. The Guy Green was another brand. If I, you know, if I wanted to go that route, there was gonna be something that I was just gonna have to purchase completely online. I couldn't find it anywhere, you know, that was sold anywhere near me, at least, that was listed online, you know, without basically getting in my car and driving all around Oklahoma, uh, Northeastern Oklahoma, um, I couldn't find it online anywhere near me. So uh, that's when I decided to go with the Roots Organic. Now, having said that, when I was doing research on this, I, I, the way I did research, like I said, basically I went to my hydroponic stores, got the brand names, or got the names of some brands, come back home, and then that's whenever I started looking online. You know, started looking on the weed tube, started looking on YouTube. Who's using these different nutrients? Like, what results are they getting? Um, just, you know, all the information that I could gather from um, the stuff that I had that was locally available at my stores. And honestly, um, I couldn't find very much. Uh, I did find a couple, a few people um, that were using the Roots Organic, the, the, the liquid nutrient line that they have, um, but couldn't find... Uh, a whole lot of people that were using the dry amendments. Um, it, and it is a fairly new product from what I understand. So that's not like super unexpected, you know, to not find very many people that's been using it. But I know, you know, Aurora um, up in Colorado, that that's who basically formulated it. And um, they're a pretty big grow operation. So I think there's a couple of folks up there that kind of know what they're doing. Um, anyway, so, I remember when I went and bought this stuff, the local hydroponics store, uh, they have like one dude that works there that's familiar with cannabis. Like nobody else, everybody else is like, you know, they have a dude that's like fruit trees, they have a dude that's like uh, roses, you know, they are, they have guys that are, you know, specialty other, other things, but as far as cannabis, they had like one dude and he wasn't there that day. So the guy that I was speaking with, I was like, you know, hey man, do they have like a feeding schedule available for this Roots Organic that can't, like maybe came with your shipment or whatever? Um, like something you could give me a photocopy of or whatever. And he was like, oh, no, nah, man, I don't think. And then I remembered, you know, uh, one of the YouTube or WeedTube, it was one of them. It was somewhere. Um, I had gotten a feeding schedule and it was supposed to be for the Roots Organic, the dry amendments and also the liquid amendment line that they have so i was like oh you know what you know i printed some a bunch of feeding schedules off it was like one was on the jacks one was on the i just had a bunch biobiz was one uh jacks was another um the roots organic was one um what else was it oh uh nectar of the gods was another of them um there was a few that i was looking at so I was like, you know what? I have a feeding schedule. I, it's printed off of on, amongst a bunch of other feeding schedules that I had. So I'll just go home. I'll use that. It's no big deal. Come home. The feeding schedule that I had, you know, was like, you need, uh, on the back of the packages that you, when you buy, when I bought it, it doesn't tell you how often to have been. It doesn't say how often to use the product. So another reason why I was asking for, it tells you how much says, you know, um, use one to two teaspoons or one to two tablespoons, whatever it is. It tells you how much you use. It doesn't say how often. So when I was looking at this, this feeding schedule, it was saying to, that with the dry, you amend every five days. And that seemed kind of frequent to me. So that should have been a, like a red flag. Like immediately, I just should have got on Google, typed in Roots Organic, went to the website, uh, the actual Manufa manufacturer website and got a feeding schedule from them but I, I thought I already had one like really honestly truly thought that I had the, the, this feeding schedule had come from because it looked legit like when I printed it off it like looked legit feeding schedule um, but it was saying to you know amend every five days which seemed kind of frequent to me but you know hey I wasn't who am I so <laughs> Um, that's exactly how I went about feeding the plant. So like the first feeding, she actually like took off. 
like exploded in growth. Um, I just like I remember if you go a couple of videos back, like the video quality is a little poor, but I mean you can just see comparison in size from now. And so this is, I mean, like this is a five gallon um, container of OR water. It's not full, uh, but I was brewing a tea, uh, which is still, I got the aerator going in it right now, but uh, brewing a tea and I fed her earlier. So anyway, what we got her going on, she looks super droopy. She looks way more droopy on camera than what she really is. Cause like I'm, I'm sitting here like looking at her in real life and then looking at her on the screen and she looks like super sick on the screen. Like, trust me, she, if it's coming across her looking like super wilty, she's not. Um, she is unhappy. Um, she's got a little bit of a nitrogen toxicity. You can see like in this leaf and a lot of these lower leaves, you can see like the claw, that's what they call clawing. Where they're kind of doing that. And then you can see some yellowing in some of the leaves. Um, it's not as bad as what it looks like, especially coming through on this camera. Like in real life, it doesn't even look as bad as what it looks on the screen here. So uh, basically what, we're, what we've been doing is just kind of brewing up like really weak compost teas. because so I want to keep that bi microbiology alive in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I mean, I've amended her four times before she started getting like droopy and showing yellowing and all that stuff. And that just goes to show you what that microbiology can do. I mean, she was getting way overfed, but she still wasn't showing signs of uh, overfeeding until I got into the fourth amendment. Uh, and then that's when I really, after that fourth amendment is when I really started seeing, you know, the clawing and, and everything like that. So that just goes to show you what, what, you know, microbiology, the, what, what it can do, the beneficial funguses and bacteria and things, um, that, that we're putting, that I'm putting into the soil, just go to show, you know, how they can regulate, um, abundances of nutrients that are in the soil because I mean if this just would have been a straight like bottle feeding and I would have had none of the other microbiome like like I said none of the funguses none of that mycos none of that azos if I wouldn't have had any of that stuff in there and then not to mention all the little microorganisms that I'm putting in there from the teas that I'm brewing and stuff like that if I wouldn't have had all of them in there like she'd probably be dead from as much stuff so I mean she's gotten probably about eight times more <laughs> of the food than what she's supposed to have because the true feeding chart i'm going to throw it up uh i'm going to throw it up in in the video uh i don't have it like physically right here but i have it as a pdf on my computer um i'll throw it into the video i'll actually show you so if you're you if you're following along with me and you're using the roots organic like please stop i mean if you've been amending every five days like i have like don't do that anymore it's way too much um, it's basically you're supposed to amend about every 14 days is from what I'm saying about every 10 to 14 days is what I see from the feeding chart um, and you water in with teas intermittently and you know they also have um, you putting in like guano and like actually amending the, the soil with guanos and stuff like that but I'm doing all that with teas so I haven't been putting in all that all I'm using is you know the foundation to grow the bloom and then the terp tea grow the terp tea bloom the mycos the azos um so i'm not using their bat guano or their worm castings or anything like that um i'm using all that in teas so uh, from now the last amendment was just like a few days ago um so i guess you know just from now from the next 14 days I'm just going to keep feeding teas intermittently. And like I said, that's just to keep all that good uh, bacteria and fungus alive um, in that soil, keep that working and breaking down uh, those minerals and all that good stuff. And, um, you know, I'm gonna let her go the four, full 14 days before I re -amend. And I might not even re -amend at that point. I might see how she's looking. And if she's not looking like she's super hungry, I'm gonna let her go another few days beyond that. Because if I do start seeing any sort of deficiency, I have everything that I need to brew up a quick tea um, to get a deficiency take care of. And then I can amend the soil um, and I'll be good to go from that point. So uh, from, yeah, like I said, from now on, I'm just gonna let her uh, go for probably she need about the ne next 10 days um, just watering in with teas intermittently here and uh, we'll see how things go 
like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're smoking on. Uh, let me know what you're growing. Let me know what kind of nutri. Like, uh, I'm interested in all that, guys and gals. Um, so, yeah. OGG. Out.